Hi Year 9s and welcome to a video where we go through the questions that were in your last test. I'd like you to watch the video and uh, double check you've uh, got the answers right or check or mark them if you've got them wrong um, and I would like you to understand why you've got them wrong and try the questions again. So here we go. Let's start off with the first set of questions which was simple multiplication. So the first set of questions were testing your simple uh, times tables effectively. Okay, so you really need to know your times tables here in order to do these. So if you're getting any of these wrong, you need to think to yourself, right, I need to revise times tables. 7 times 5 is 35. 9 times 6 is 54. 1 times 11 is 11. 11 times 4 is 44. 8 times 7 is 56. 4 times what is 32? Well, it turns out that 4 times 8 is 32. 7 times what is 21? 7 times 3 is 21. And what times 6 is 18? Or well, 3 times 6 is 18. And it was one mark for each of those. Now, if you were struggling with your um, multiplication here, there is another way of doing it, repeated addition. For example, the first one, say you struggle with that. 7 times 5 means 7 lots of 5. So if you just drew a few pictures out just to help you, you've got... 5 and 7 lots of 5, okay, so that's 1 lot of 5. Okay, and you've got another lot of 5. And you've got another lot of 5, so that's 3 lots of 5, 4 lots of 5, 5 lots of 5, 6 lots of 5, 7, seven lots of 5. And then you can just count it easily. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yes. So if you are struggling with your multiplication, you can draw pictures and do repeat, repeated counting. And let's just show you another one down here. 4 times uh, what was 32? Well, what you could do is, if you wanted to know... Um, uh, sorry, uh, let's do this one. How many lots of 6 or 18? What you could have done is you could have drawn 6 out and you could have gone 6... Another 6 and counted 12, another 6 counted 18. So you would have knew three boxes got you there. So that was the first question, set of questions. You should know your times tables now, or at least be able to refer back to repeated counting. Okay, the next set of questions, there were two questions on 2 by 2 digit multiplication. So you had to work out 23 multiplied by 14 and 76 multiplied by 39 without a calculator. So we use the grid method, okay? So what we do is we draw ourselves a grid and we are doing a multiplication, so we write a times here. 23, we write that as a 20 and a 3, how, how many uh, tens and units, and 14 we write as a 10 and a 4. And now we multiply out the grid. Now, 1 times 2 would be 2. Okay, so 10 times 2 would be 20, and 10 times 20 would actually be 200. Okay, so 10 lots of 20, you could also count it up, 10 lots of 20, and, and you'd get 200. 10 times 3 is 30, 4 times 20 is 80, 4 times 3 is 12. And now you add up these numbers. So we might add them uh, downwards here, these ones, it's 280, and here it's 42. And you make sure you add these to finish. And you add 42 onto 280, and you get yourself uh, 322. So your answer to this question is 322. OK? Now let's do the same thing with this one, 76 multiplied by 23. Draw yourself a grid. We're doing a multiply. 76 done. 39 done. Now let's fill this in. Now firstly I like to think of what's 3 times 7. Well 3 times 7 is 21. So 30 times 7 would be 210 and 30 times 70 would be 2100. So I, what I like to do is I just like to do the, the numbers multiplied together first and then think about uh, the additional tens that are multiplying. 30 times 6, well 30 lots of 6 is 180. 9 times 70 well, uh, we can do the same thing as we did before. 9 times 7 is 63. 
So 9 times 70 must be 630, and 9 times 6 is equal to 54. Now we just add them like we did before. 2100 adds 630 is 2730, and 184, 180 plus 54 is 234. Now we add these across here, and we get ourselves 2964. And we write that as our answer, 2,964, and we're done. Okay, the next set of questions were about mixed numbers and improper fractions. The first uh, couple, you had to convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction, and the second couple, you had to convert from an improper fraction to a mixed number. So we're always going to model these problems. Let's draw two and a half. Let's do uh, some boxes for two and a half. Here's one. Is two, and what we're going to draw is we're going to draw the third uh, box here because two and a half is bigger than two but less than three, so we're going to draw a third box. So this is represents one, two, and three. Now let's split them into halves, okay? And we want two and a half, so we want all of this first one, there's one, we want all of this second one, there's two, and we want half of the next one. Now the question is, how many halves have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five halves. So the answer is five out of two, an improper fraction. Let's do the same with three and three-fifths. We're going to have to draw ourselves uh, four boxes here because three and three-fifths is bigger than three. So there's one box, two, three, and four. Now we're dealing with fifths, so we're going to split them into fifths. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 Now we want three holes and three fifths. So we're going to colour in all of that box, that's one. All of that box, that's two. All of that box, that's three. And three of the fifths, so one, two, three, like that. So, how many fifths have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 fifths, and that's our answer. Okay, so that's how you do the first two. Going backwards, and we've got 11 fifths, and, we, and we've got 27, so we want to convert it to a mixed number. So what we're going to do here is we're going to model the problem just as before. So we're going to model this problem. So what we're going to draw is we're going to draw 11 boxes here. We're going to try and represent what 11 fifths looks like. So let's draw, there's one fifth, right? And let's do 11 of these. So let's do 11 of these here. So here's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So there are a picture of eleven fifths. Now we know five fifths are one. So we're going to take one, two, three, four, and five, and we're going to colour that in. That's a whole. We know the next lot of five are also one. So one, two, three, or four, five. That's another whole. Okay, and we've got the one fifth left over. So how many holes have we got? We've got two, and we've got one-fifth left over, and that's the answer. And we do the exact same with 27s. We draw 27s. We draw 20 boxes. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw a big box, and I'm going to divide it into uh, 20 here. So I'm going to divide this one into 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 20 boxes here. And what we're going to do, uh, these are 20 sevenths. Each one of these is a seventh. So we know that seven of them are one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, another seven of them are another one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and how many have we got left? Have we got enough for another seven? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we haven't. So we've got two holes, one, two, and we've got six sevens left. And that's the answer.
OK, the next set of questions, we're adding very, very simple fractions here. And these were very straightforward if you just remembered how to say a fraction. Now, I'm going to show you the first one. This one here, what does it mean? 3 divided by 7 or 3 over 7. It means 3 sevenths. And what does this mean? It means 1 seventh. OK, and if you add 3 sevenths and 1 seventh, you get 4 sevenths. OK, so when the numbers on the bottom are the same, the units are the same, you can just add the tops. For example here, what does this mean? One third plus another third is two thirds. So we can answer these questions dead easily by just reading them. Three sevenths plus one seventh must be four sevenths. Five sixteenths plus four sixteenths must be nine sixteenths. One third plus one third must be two thirds. And one fifth plus two fifths must be three fifths. And they were the answers to the next set. The next set of questions were about adding fractions, and they were just slightly more tricky. Now, the first one, one quarter plus one quarter, well, that's two quarters. OK, so, so far, that was easy. However, OK, we can simplify this fraction. We should always simplify a fraction where we can. So, two quarters, there are a couple of ways to think of simplifying it. You could draw a picture of it, OK, and you could split a, a hole into quarters and you could colour in two of them so if you coloured in two of them you can clearly see that that is the same as a half so you could simplify it to be a half uh, the other way of doing it you could realise there's a factor of two on the top and the bottom so you could divide the top and bottom by two and you would get a half now Question two onwards are just slightly more tricky. You have uh, one half plus a quarter. The numbers on the bottom are different. Okay, They're not the same units. It's not like a quarter plus a quarter. They're different. So what you need to do is you need to make both the numbers on the bottom the same. Because if adding fractions is your game, make the denominators the same. So you've got to think what number do two and four go into? Well, they both go into 4. What times tables are 2 and 4 in? The smallest number is 4. So you can leave this one on its own. The quarter is 5. If I had to change this to a 4, what would I have to do to the 2? I'd have to times it by 2. So I must do the same to the top. So this fraction would change to 2 quarters. And now I can do it because 2 quarters plus 1 quarter is 3 quarters. And we're done. Let's do the same here. The numbers are different on the bottom. They're different units. One third plus one twelfth. We need to make them the same. So think, what does three and twelve go into? The smallest number you can think of. Well, they both go into twelve. So you can keep the second fraction, the twelfth, the same. What would you have to do to this three here? Multiply it by to get twelve. Well, you'd have to multiply it by four. So you must do the same to the top, so it would be 4 twelfths. And then you can do the problem because 4 twelfths plus 1 twelfth is 5 twelfths, and you're done. OK, um, the next uh, one is uh, slightly trickier. Um, what number, they're different numbers. What number do you know that 5 and 4 go into? Well, hopefully with a bit of thought, you realise they both go into 20, or 20 is in both of their times tables. So make the bottom numbers 20. What do you have to do to 5 to make it uh, to multiply it to be 20? Well, you have to times it by 4. So you better do the same thing to the top. And 2 times 4 is 8. So it would be 8 twentieths. Similarly here, if you're times it by 4, uh, what do you have to times 4 by to get 20? Well, you have to times it by 5. Do the same to the top. 1 times 5 is 5. So 8 twentieths plus uh, 5 twentieths is 13 twentieths. And we're done for that set of questions. Now we're exactly halfway through the test and we can stop the video there. I will make another video for the second half of the test. Thank you for watching.